Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take 5 raised to power 6 to the left hand side. As this here, we have x raised to power 6 minus 5 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here. The next step here, we can write this as x raised to power 3 or raised to power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6, then minus also 5 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2 equals to 0 from here. This follows from difference of 2 square. When we have a square minus b square, which is equals to a plus b into brackets, then open brackets a minus b. Then a is standing as x raised to power 3 and b standing as 5 raised to power 3. That is what we have here. All of this and becomes x raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into bracket. Then open bracket x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 from here. The next day. We have two possible cases here. The first one, x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. This is plus. Then, solving from the first case here. This follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is what we have here becomes x plus 5 into brackets then open bracket x square minus 5x plus 5 square Close brackets and equals to zero from here. Now this this is same thing as x plus five into brackets, then open bracket x square minus five x plus five square five times five that's twenty five. Close brackets equals to zero here. Then here we have two possible cases as well. X plus five equals to zero. Or we have x squared minus 5x plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then on this side, we have this becomes x equals to minus 5, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 25 and here applying the quadratic formula which is x squared equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a all we have here becomes x squared equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 all over 2 times 1 then this becomes x other we have x equals to minus times minus as plus and this here we have 5 plus or minus square root of Minus 5 squared, that's 25, then minus 4 times 1, times 25, we have 100, then all over 2 here. That is, this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 100, we have minus 75, then all over 2 here. Also, this can be written as x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 
25 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2. Then when we separate this root 25, same thing as 5, take it out and we have x equals to 5 plus or minus 5. We have root 3, then root minus 1, that's i, then over 2 here. At this here, we have two complex solutions from here. Then, solving from the second case here as well, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open brackets a square plus ab plus b square. That is here, what we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets, the open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square close brackets equals to 0 here. That is, this is the same thing as x minus 5 into brackets, the open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square, that's 25, close bracket equals to 0 from here. Then, also here we have two possible cases. That is x minus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 5x plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then, from here we have x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. Then, here also we have a quadratic equation. We have a equals to 1, b equals to 5, and c equals to 25. And applying the quadratic formula, we have x now equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25, then all over 2 times 1. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared, that's 25, then minus 4 times 1 times 25, we have 100, then all over 2 here. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 100 minus 75, then all over 2 here. That is, the same thing as x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2. That is, I take out root 25, that's 5. And we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus 5. Here we have root 3. Then root minus 1, that's i. And over 2. Also, here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this given problem. Two solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget your steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.